Hey. I thought we could just do like a sit down, chill, get ready with me while I answer some questions that I've had to come through. And I thought we could do it in a style like we're on FaceTime sort of thing. I've seen these videos floating about on YouTube and I just thought, you know what, I wanna try it out. I've also had a new audio as well for this camera. So do let me know in the comments your feedback if this audio is a bit better. At the same time, I'm just gonna throw on some makeup as well. This is not gonna be solely focused review on these products. I just wanna do like a, a chill get ready me kind of sort of thing so yeah i've got this new primer this is the revolution hydro bubble it's like a serum i've been really liking this it's very lightweight and it just layers really nice under my foundation gives a nice glowy skin as well so i've just been looking at all the questions i'm just gonna go on the ones that instagram have given me first oh god there is one question i'm just like i don't even know how to answer that like it's not even appropriate but yeah this is the revolution forever flawless palette it's a dreamy palette like how cute is that i'm gonna use my beauty bay eye base i feel like i haven't done a q a in absolute ages i'm not gonna mention the names these are all gonna be anonymous someone actually asked what's your favorite makeup brand it used to be i Heart revolution back in the day my channel was just all about i Heart revolution i Heart revolution this but like i feel like my tastes have changed a lot i've been liking a lot of elf makeup recently i feel like elf is my favorite makeup brand at the minute there's like hardly any mattes in here i don't know what to do okay i actually want to try out this rem beauty liquid shadow i've been experimenting with this so many times and i just i can't make my mind up on it so i'm gonna try and use it on top of a pink eyeshadow because it has got like it's got like a pinky shift i'm gonna go in the shade peeps just as a base color i had some personal ones as well which i don't mind answering so someone asked me what are you looking forward to the most this year i would say experiences i'm gonna go away this year for a couple of days i'm going to france i've got a few events lined up i'm so excited to go to taylor's heiress tour though with my best friend i literally still can't believe it we managed to get tickets I i'm just so excited so yeah that is going to be a massive thing to look forward to because because that is just going to be iconic i'm liking this pink i'm also hoping to go to some festivals this year i don't know why but i'm getting really dry there going to Queenfield this year which I'm looking forward to. Let's try out this one beauty. It looks so pretty. I've tried so many times for this to work. I hope it's not gonna lift this pink eyeshadow. Um, What else am I looking forward to? Just like doing more stuff like out the house I guess. Uh, I spend so much time in the house especially when I'm doing YouTube and stuff like yeah I just want to explore more even if there's new places to go on dog walks. I really like how this is laying top of this, actually. Oh no, it is lifting. How are people making this eyeshadow, liquid eyeshadow work? Seriously, like, I don't know how they're making this work because it's just lifting. Anyway, I've tried it. I'm hoping to do more raves this year in the summer or towards the end of the year. We'll just see where this year takes us. I think I might wear eyeliner for this look. <sighs> I just can't make my mind up about this Rem Beauty liquid shadow. I've tried so many times. Why am I so red here? I've tried so many times to make this work. I don't know what's all of it. Like, it's just taking the layer off. It is pretty, but it's just removing the pink base eyeshadow. I don't know, I'm gonna wear some eyeliner. I'm gonna use Revolution Clothes Eyeliner, I absolutely love this. I had a question on my favorite skincare brands that I would recommend. If you're just going into skincare, I think Bubble is a good skincare option. I really like the Inky List. I like the brand Bioma as well. I feel like Bioma and Bubble are really good skincare for beginners. I like CeraVe, I like Cetaphil. That wing is winging. What else do I like? I feel like The Ordinary have some good stuff as well. I really like this Road lip Peptide Lip Treatment, like this stuff. It even tastes nice, it's the vanilla flavor. I'm gonna try these again, these are the Revolution Revolution Skin Silk. I still prefer my XX of Revolution Skin Tint. This is the Elf Halo Glow Liquid. What's it called? Liquid Filter. Got in the shade Zero. I love the stuff under my foundation. It just makes your skin super glowy. Someone says, if you could only use products from a single makeup brand, which one would you choose? Easy. Revolution. I'll always go with the Revolution Clueless Eyeliner. This eyeliner is always my go-to. I have like two backups of these just because I'm scared if it discontinues. I'd probably say the Halo Glow Liquid Filter for e.l.f. Foundation. The Catrice Cosmetics True Skin Hydration Foundation. Brows. I'd say NYX or Benefit. In fact, I've got a Benefit 
brow products to try today eyeliner for the waterline i'm gonna say nyx i love the jumbo eyeliner pencil bronzer i'd probably say something from she glam i really like their glowing up skin stick bronzer mascara is always going to be maybelline from the drugstore i still stand that my favorite mascara is the maybelline sky high however elf have come out with a new tube in mascara which i'm gonna try out today I tried it out once before but i'm gonna give it another go i could literally go on about this like it's so hard to pick one brand but i feel like revolution do a lot of good base products I'm gonna mix f1 and f2 i did get this one question and i'm not gonna name the question because i may get demonetized because youtube do not support talking about this subject and someone asked me about my thoughts on and all i'm gonna say it's tragic. I don't want to bring any political conversation onto my channel because that's not what it's all about. This foundation, my thoughts, I do like it for a certain amount of time, but then after a while, it does go quite greasy. Oh, I thought of another thing. Favorite concealer. I do like the e.l.f. Camo Concealer, the hydration one, and the L'Oreal Inflammable Concealer. I'm going to use the Shea Glan Glowing Up Skin. Glowing Up Skin Stick in the shade Golden Sun. Someone asked me how old I was when I moved out. I moved out when I was 19. That's when I went to uni. God, that's such a long time ago. <laughs> Basically never moved back home. I just stayed moved out, moved in with my boyfriend who I met at uni. And yeah, we've just lived together ever since. Someone asked me something similar, which goes hand in hand with that other question. Um, do you live alone? Oh no. I don't live alone. I live with my boyfriend. I found university was the most weirdest phase of my life. University was just a wild, it was a wild time. I'm gonna use this Rem Beauty Hypernova bronzer. This is in the shade Center Voicemail. I'm gonna go with the L'Oreal Inflammable. Oh, someone asked me, why is my channel, you know what, quite a few people have asked me this, like, well, why is your channel called Mortifé? Basically, when I created this channel, which was in uni, I didn't want to use my actual name. I don't know why, I, don't, I think it was my, my, because I didn't want people to, you know, find my channel, but you can easily find anything on the internet these days. Yeah, so I went with my middle name and I just thought, you know what, I want a creative space for myself where I can just create videos more into my life. So that's why I thought of more to say. I'm gonna spray myself with the I Heart Revolution watermelon spray. So yeah, nothing too deep. And also I don't think my full name sounds that nice <laughs> to use on YouTube. Someone actually asked me, do you want kids? Right now, no, but that may change in the future. I feel like I'm a bit too selfish right now to have children. I want to travel, not having to have commitment. I already have a fair baby, which <laughs> um, I loved a bit, so she is my baby at the minute. Yeah, I also want to focus a bit more on my career and what I actually want to do, and I just don't want a distraction right now. I've never been a maternal person either. Like all my friends, like most of my friends from school have had children. Like I even had friends that were maternal at school. Like they, like they go around the baby section and look at clothes and stuff. And I'm just like, oh my God, like I'm so disinterested. I'm gonna go into this blush. This is the Rem Beauty Hypernova blush in the shade Peach Planet. I absolutely love this. This is stunning. On that subject, I literally could talk about this subject for ages, but I know some people are very, opinionated with what I've got to say. Like, <laughs> my family are always like, well, what are you gonna do when you're older? No, you shouldn't have kids to rely on to look after when you're older. I will go in a nursing home. I'll get looked after. Like, I don't need my children to look after me. Like, you know what I mean? I was meant to try this today. Shall we see if we can give this a go? This is the Revolution Blush Bar. I've got it in the shade That's Fly Nude. I'm gonna give this a go. Like, it should be okay to use on top of a matte blush. Let's just see if it goes on. Okay, it's really lightweight. That's a really nice formula. Like it's not lifting up anything underneath even though I went in with a satin matte blush and bronzer. I really like that. That's so nice. They do have a pink one as well. I do have a new brow to try. This is the Benefit Precisely My Brow. It's the ultra thin one. I feel like this is gonna be the same size millimeters as the Huda Beauty one. It's definitely a lot smaller than my NYX Micro Brow Pencil. This is the NYX and that's the benefit. It looks quite similar. However, the benefit one looks super dark. I did get in the shade 3.5, and because the blonde, I don't like wearing blonde brow pencils that look too warm on me. We're gonna give it a go. I'm gonna go in my Revolution, I Heart Revolution brow. Ugh, brow thing wax. 
Oh, I did get a question on YouTube. What made you get into makeup in the first place? Honestly, YouTube, social media. I didn't have TikTok at the time, but I was watching a lot of like YouTubers, the likes of Jaclyn Hill, Jeffree Star. I loved watching Sophie Does Nails at the time. I liked watching Sophie Louise. She did a lot of full face testing makeup videos. Watching other people do it inspired me to create my own channel and to get into makeup. I actually didn't get into makeup until I was like 19, <laughs> which is quite late. Like I didn't really care about makeup at the time at school. I just used it for the sake of, you know, using it. I didn't think there was like a whole community on it. Has your perspective on makeup changed since then? Absolutely. I used to think makeup was just a thing, you know, just to look presentable. I mean, it still is, but but now I think there's more of a creative outlet to it. Like it's, it is an art form. It's a way of expressing yourself. I like this brow pencil. I just wish there was a better shade selection because I feel like these are going to be too dark. Like I just feel like it's too dark. Is it too dark? I don't know. Uh, same person has also asked me another question. Do you still use or own any of your products you started out with? Oh, I don't think I actually do. Like I've still got the ABH, oh, what's it called now? The Glow Kit. This is in the shade Sweet. I still have this. This is like my first high-end product. I never go into it. I literally just keep this for memories. Yeah, I don't go into any of my products that I had a long time ago, which is a shame, but things expire, I guess. And I should have palettes. No, probably not. I'm gonna go with this highlight today. This is the collection. It looks like a Fenty dupe of the Diamond Bomb. This is Diamond Shine. Oh wow, that is, that is shiny. The same person also asked, what is your favorite technique that you've found helpful for you? Makeup technique, probably cleaning up my eyeliner. I like to use concealer to clean up the edge to make it a bit more sharper or go in with a makeup wipe just to make it a bit thinner. That's probably my favorite technique I like to use. But yeah, I always love your makeup. Have a great day, Faith. Thank you so much. By the way, thank you so much for sending these questions. I honestly thought I wasn't gonna get enough questions. I feel like, have I answered pretty much? Oh, someone asked me, where do you work? Not gonna answer that, but if you're wondering what I do, I do admin. Do you have any plans to collaborate with some makeup brand or by yourself to create some makeup? I wish. <laughs> it would be a dream to collaborate with some sort of makeup brand that I truly love. And would I create my own makeup? No one knows me. I, I don't think people would actually buy my makeup. I'm not well known for people to be like, oh yeah, I'm, I wanna buy her makeup, do you know what I mean? I'd love to, um, I'd love to see that people would buy my makeup. I've got the NYX slick clip lip balm this is a new this is in such a bright pink i don't know if i'm gonna wear this one it's called clout i feel like once you click it up you can't retract it i got really dry lips this is like a proper barbie pink so this is the elf lash extender mascara it's their first tubing mascara i think it is it's quite nice this is how the lashes are looking i really not liking how my base is looking <laughs> it's um the camera's not picking it up. I think it's because I haven't proper like done my skincare. I've been on a massive long walk today and I've just sat down and gone straight into the makeup. Yeah, makeup prep is important and this is why. I think there are all the questions. I'm so sorry if I haven't answered one of your questions, but there are all the screenshots that I've got. Oh no, I do have one other question. It was from a Patreon. Uh, my friend says, what is something you would consider a success lately? I've started skiing lessons. Me and my boyfriend want to go on a skiing holiday and I actually didn't think I was going to like a skiing lesson i i don't know i was just like pushing it away but then when i tried it i absolutely love it and i cannot wait to do the next skiing lesson like i'm itching to do it i want to get to the point where i'm pretty good at it so yeah that is one thing i'm proud of myself this year because if i had tried that if i didn't try new things anything like that then i wouldn't have found out that i loved it so yeah thing to take away today try something new because you never know you might really like it. And yeah, skiing is something that I really want to do. I want to, my goal is to go on a skiing holiday every year. Um, so yeah, I really want to get good at it. So yeah, I think I'm going to end it there. But here's what the makeup's looking like. I really don't like how my base is looking. It just, I don't know if it's the foundation or the concealer or the lack of makeup prep I've done in this video, but the skin is just, it looks, it just looks broken up, like under my eyes specifically. You're not gonna see though. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this sort of little low key chit chat get ready with me. I'm gonna go now. Thank you for watching and I shall see you in the next one. Bye.